tafadhali mnaweza kesi chini um our minister for public service the governor of nakuru county the director general of the national youth service the commandant of this college members of parliament who are present here graduates and parents good afternoon hamjambo uh, to the graduates I take this opportunity to celebrate you assembled here at this pass out parade, the National Youth Service community, as well as friends and family gathered at the National Youth Service Paramilitary Academy here in Gilgil. In celebrating this fine achievement, I want to congratulate you for the commitment with which you have pursued your courses as a result of which you are now young disciplined citizens with valuable skills, work ethic, patriotism, and a keen awareness of the needs of millions of Kenyans. These priceless qualities have brought you far from where you began half a year ago. And with dignity, honor, and integrity, they will take you very far in achieving and living the life and service you desire in the future. I further take this opportunity to also welcome you to the high calling of national building. We have a nation to feed, sick people to treat, homes to build, industries to grow, and other enterprises to run a digital economy to grow while rehabilitating and protecting our environment. This country looks to you, young people, and as custodians of its future to embark on nation building with dedication and vigor using the knowledge and skills you have and which you will continue to acquire over a lifetime of learning and service. The Kenya National Vision 2030 identifies the National Youth Service as a strategic organization in our development. The government in its plan for the rapid socio-economic transformation of our country also considers the institution as an anchor for youth participation in driving our sustainable development. I therefore bring to your attention the high expectation the nation has of the level, the scope, and the impact of your participation in transformative endeavors, and I am confident that you are well aware of this fact. Your field units, where you learned by doing maize, potato, rice, cabbage, beef, chicken, and dairy production provided excellent orientation to our national food security and agro-industrial agenda. I am encouraged to know that the National Youth Service now intends to place 720 acres of land under irrigation to support maize, potato and soya bean seed production and multiplication. This is in addition to impacting training in such vital fields as aeroponics, climate smart agriculture, and research. It is important that this new venture succeeds, in cost, is cost effective, and does not exert inordinate budgetary pressure. I also recognize that the service is going to play a significant role in the national tree planting campaign by growing 1 billion trees on 40,000 acres across the country over the next five years. <clears throat> Father, I am delighted to observe that the National Youth Service has committed to hold the hand of many graduates in starting income-generating activities and 
assessing affordable financing for, by establishing circles dedicated to MSME incubation and growth. In addition, I appreciate the National Youth Service for its plan to contribute to the enhancement of government service delivery by providing personnel to assist in digitization, automation, and migration of government services online. I am happy to report that our endeavor to transit all government services to a digital platform is on course. We started two months ago with 300 government services online. Today, we have 2,800 government services online, and we are on course to ensuring that in the next six months, all government services will be available online on a digital platform, and we will leverage on automation and on technology to provide efficient, effective government services to all citizens from wherever they will be without having to queue or having to wait in any office because services, government services will be available online. And I want to thank the National Youth Service for being part of this transformative agenda of digitizing government services. In addition, I appreciate the National Youth Service for what they are doing in their service plan to escalate its participation by expanding enrollment to ICT and STEM in its technical and vocational education and training programs is a highly welcome indication of commitment to establish the youth as indispensable engines of transformation. The government has initiated a robust agenda to ensure that art, culture, and sport blossom throughout the country in the next five years, and that afterwards Kenya will be a consistent high achiever in these sectors regionally, continentally, and globally. The NYS proposal to enhance its participation in these sectors by identifying, developing, and promoting appropriate talent is highly welcome. And I want to commit that the youth ministry will partner with the National Youth Service to ensure that talents, knowledge, expertise that are identified within the National Youth Service receive the necessary support so that we can nurture those talents and use them to monetize for purposes of transforming our country. The National Youth Pro uh, Service proposal in this sector, as I have said, will be supported in a manner in which that there will be an agreement between NYS and the Ministry of Youth. The government is taking full advantage of the tremendous potential by expanding Kenya's textile production by increasing the land area under cotton, cotton production, by upgrading the services garment and textile production to EPZ standards. The National Youth Service will complement this strategic pillar by infusing youthful energy and creativity in production of our garment and textile sector. Similarly, the services plan to produce affordable housing material and expand enrollment into civil works and building trade courses in the Tibet program is a perfectly timed intervention. All these commitments and strategies have materialized from concepts, ideas, and plans because of the promise that you have demonstrated and your manifest capability in applying your knowledge, skills, and training to advance your own aspirations and our collective national development goals. We have seen that you can do, we have seen what you can do, and this affirms our intention to premise our plan for rapid national social economic transformation on the participation of the youth in greater numbers and significant roles. This is to say that the creation of meaningful opportunities for millions of young people is not a byproduct 
of the bottom-up agenda for national economic transformation, it is a necessary condition for economic takeoff and shared prosperity. Our definition and understanding of development must have the active contribution of an overwhelming majority of youth as its foundational principle and the inspiring profile of this cohort attests to this. For this reason, we want to enhance the annual intake, the annual intake from 10,000 every intake to 20,000 every intake. In other words, we want to double the intake of young people joining the National Youth Service from every location in the Republic of Kenya as a mechanism of creating sufficient patriotism and giving opportunity to young people in rural areas who otherwise may not have the means or may not have the opportunity to be able to explore their talent and be able to get the necessary training and skills for them to make useful contribution to the development of our country, while at the same time broadening the pipeline of qualified young people into public and private sector as well as self-employment. To enrich education, training and skill development while utilizing the construction plant, machinery and equipment, the service should be facilitated by the Ministry of Water and Sanitation to engage in construction of at least 100 dams and water pumps annually. This will support the government agenda and enhance NYS financial self-reliance. I have this morning instructed that all equipment purchased by the government in the service of NYS should be refurbished, should be re-engineered, and should be made serviceable. And the necessary budgetary allocation should be identified so that the government of Kenya can finance to ensure that the National Youth Service takes advantage of the energy, the talent, and the expertise of the young people in the service to be able to contribute meaningfully to nation building. <clears throat> this spirit of productive learning should extend to the cultivation of 80,000 acres of land under commercial food production. I have already had a conversation with the management of the National Youth Service. We have already agreed that the government of Kenya is going to provide agricultural machinery to support NYS agricultural sector for food production, to enhance self-reliance by NYS, and to support national food production as we seek for food self-reliance as a country. <clears throat> In recognition of the admirable role of the National Youth Service, in anchoring youth contribution to national socioeconomic transformation and to give comfort to the many young people enrolled and those considering enrollment, I am enhancing the path to the discipline services by directing the Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Energy, Climate Change and Forestry, Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife and Heritage as well as the Ministry of Interior and National Administration to allocate at least 30% of their vacancies to National Youth Servicemen and Women. This should encourage and motivate many young Kenyans on their path to national service and national productivity. I want to say that as we work together in this endeavor, we will ensure that a majority of the young people who otherwise 
would not get an opportunity to grow their talent, to explore their expertise, and to acquire knowledge will do so because of the enhanced enrollments we are going to do at the National Youth Service. This morning, I have also instructed that the task force that is currently undertaking the terms and conditions of service of our policemen and the prison uh, service members. This morning I have instructed that an extension of two months be accorded, an extension of two months be made available for the task force so that that task force can also include the National Youth Service, terms of service and conditions of service to ensure that the service, the National Youth Service, joins the other disciplined forces in ensuring that the men and women who serve with dedication and commitment and sacrifice are considered in terms of their employment and terms of service. I look forward to that report in the next two and a half months so that we can make it possible for the men and women who do this great job get their due regard from the people and the government of the Republic of Kenya. Congratulations, graduates, for your achievement so far. Your contribution to transforming Kenya has already been felt. The nation awaits more with high expectation, which I am confident you will surpass. Nataka ni washukuru sana vijana hawa. Mimi nimewaangalia, nimeona vile mumeweka paredi hapa. Muko chonjo, muko smart. Congratulations to all of you. Na vile nimesema ya kwamba management ya National Youth Service watatuambia ile facilities ambazo zinahitajika na waziri utapanga na watu wa na management ya NYS ndio tujue ili vijana 1200 waje hapa kila enrollment yaani vijana 1040 kila mwaka waweze kuja katika mas, uh, kutika masomo haya ni facilities gani tunahitaji additionally so that we can make it possible because of the great contribution the National Youth Service is making in transforming young people from across Kenya into responsible patriotic citizens of the Republic of Kenya. I have also uh, made the commitment uh, this morning that because we value and we are aware of the immense contribution that the National Youth Service is making and the men and women who, is the, who are the backbone, the people who run the National Youth Service, that they too will be part of the people we will be considering and the task force on the police and prisons will now include the NYS so that they too can benefit from the exercise we are carrying out. Mimi nataka ni waambie vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya tutatembea pamoja na nyinyi kazi mnayofanya nimesema ya kwamba tutaongeza mara mbili wale recruits watakuja hapa kuanzia mwaka ujao once we have assessed the kind of facilities that we require to make that possible so that we can give opportunity to millions of young people across the breadth and width of our republic ensuring that we create this team of patriotic citizens of the republic of kenya now ambia tena pongezi congratulations mukirudi nyumbani msalimie familia zenu na mjue ya kenya ya kwamba serikali ya kenya inasimama na nyinyi katika awamu ambayo inafuata wakati mnaenda katika national service katika 
nation building na baadaye mtaenda katika mafunzo katika Tibet zetu na sehemu zingine tutatembea pamoja na nyinyi wakati tuna um, recruit wenzenu ambao watafuata nyinyi mkiwa mnafuata wengine ambao wamewatangulia asante sana Mungu awabariki Mungu awajalie na mtusaidie jameni tuweze kupanda miti nimefurahi sana kwamba NYS is the single organization that has taken the responsibility to plant 1 billion trees out of the 15 billion we intend to plant as a country. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you.